Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion plays The Long War, XCOM, Enemy Within. It had to happen at some point. This is our third terror mission. Panic is at five. Aliens are swarming. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening. So let's clear all units here. This is what I'm thinking. Slow it down. I imagine that everybody who goes on this mission is going to get killed. I guess that's a, a healthy attitude to take as we enter here. So let's see who's active and who we want to take. I kind of like the idea of bringing Ultimate Smoky Warrior. He's a Rocketeer. We're not going to be moving that much. I expect to encounter a lot of Chrysalids. Give him an F-ton of rockets. That'll be good. Smoky Warrior. Ultimate Smoky Warrior. You have entered your way into this mission. And you will be using a staggering amount of rocketness. Don't worry about it. Apparently flashbangs are important as well, from what I've heard uh, on these anti-chrysalid missions. I guess we'll have to take a shredder rocket with our other section there. I think that's a smart play. You may disagree. Probably also a good idea to give him the phalanx armor and also a laser rifle. Uh, he can't take a heavy, so just a regular laser rifle. Okay, one has been decked out. I think it's a very smart idea to send a shiv, and we do have a shiv. Uh, we can give them an auto loader, which increases their ammo capacity by one. This gives us suppression, which seems extremely important, uh, and also good damage. You know, it's not a human being, so it can't turn into a zombie, so that's important. And I'm assuming that chrysalids are going to be, you know, the worst thing that we encounter, but they might not be. We might encounter something worse. Um, I think, I feel okay sending Hulk Hogan on this mission. It's not our lieutenant sniper. Which is good, because I figure that they're probably, you know, not long for this world. But, um, you know, the ability to get, like, a crit chance... Or, not a crit chance, but, like, a kill uh, every turn, or at least some wounding every turn, seems very important. Do we have infantry? Where's our infantry? Are they all wounded? Please don't all be wounded. Uh, we have one that's fatigued. I think we're probably going to take them. I know they're only a specialist. What was that special ability? Light them up so they can fire twice. I think that's very important. I'm going to give them a heavy laser rifle, even though it messes with their aim. And I'm actually going to give them... I was going to say a laser sight to compensate for it. But at this point, we might have to, like, really quadruple down on grenades here. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I th feel like you should also have some phalanx armor. Um, but maybe we should just go for some, some more AP grenades here from yours truly. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, all units... Fuck the pistol, uh, you can't take it, but everyone else, fuck the pistol, you're all going to be taking sawed-off shotguns. Alright, so we have a, an infantry specialist. We have an active gunner, actually, so we're going to take her as well, and she's going to be um, using... How much damage does the saw do? 4 to 6 or 6 to 9, and it has 6 ammo. Okay, versus the laser rifle, 4 to 6, 6 to 9, 3 base ammo. Okay, so the saw seems like a be much better choice. We'll take AP Grenade, and you know what? You can actually uh, be our flashbang holder. Might want to give our medic that last phalanx armor then, because we are going to take a medic with us. Uh, we'll take... I'd rather not take Dr. Ruth. Okay. We're going to take Dr. Ruth and leave Florence Nightingale uh, behind. And you're just going to take... I mean, you probably don't need six med kits. Three is probably fine. You're going to take a laser rifle, you're going to take a sawed-off shotgun, AP grenade is right. Something doesn't feel right about this. We didn't use nearly enough laser weapons, but okay, this is going to be our squad. This is going to be our squad. What should we say? Let's give it a try, shall we? I'm pretty sure that Glasgow is going to bend us over and make us, you know, hope to be anal probes, but we'll see. The next deployment site is in the UK. The aliens are continuing their incursions into highly populated areas. So, for real, fuck the civilians here. I'm mostly concerned, you know, each one of my XCOM soldiers is worth like 100,000 civilian lives. So, to save 12 civilians, you always get this picture in your head like, oh, you know, a police officer would sacrifice his life for me because that's their job. Sure, okay, this is a freaking alien invasion, though. Why does one of these people only have an assault rifle? I'm an idiot. I thought I gave everybody... I didn't even think I took Mofolo on this mission. Do they at least have... Okay, they have two AP grenades. So I'll live with that. That was me being an idiot. Now. Not gunners make moves here. Let's move forward. Full cover might not end up being important at all. 
no vision. Uh, sincerely, full cover might end up being meaningless if we're like exclusively going up against uh, chrysalids. Oh snap! Really wish that my sniper had not figured that out, but hey, we haven't moved with our rocketeer yet. Correct. Who is our rocketeer? Smoky Warrior. Oh, it's perfect. It's beautiful. I think this is going to be pretty solid. There we go. Take a good shot. And again, cover is meaningless here, so this is this is fine. It didn't do quite as much damage as maybe I would have hoped for. Um, Hulk Hogan doesn't get to take a shot here, correct? Okay, Fournier... I would like you to at least be able to toss a grenade in here, so let's do that. I kind of botched your first turn. We maybe could have used a flashbang instead. One has actually been killed. So we only need to kill the remaining two. That's pretty good. Our Shiv still has a shot. Actually, many people still have a shot. Our Shiv is 60, 60. Could use suppression if they have to. Um, Mafolo. You have rapid reaction, lightning reflexes. Neither of which mean anything in this context. Should have at least given you a sniper, or not a sawed-off shotgun or something. If I put you over here, you still have a grenade shot. What are your actual percentages? 73? I kind of like the idea of just being better safe than sorry here. I'll just drop in this fat AP grenade, and be content that we've used only like a third of our explosives. Alright. As far as I'm concerned, uh, terror missions are like take no prisoners. I don't give a shit if we use all of our, um, uh, absolutely all of our, uh, explosives, and we don't get any weapon parts. Doesn't bother me in the least. Alright, Overwatch. Uh, you can steady aim, I guess. Okie dokie. Three chrysalids dead. I would have to imagine there's probably gonna be anywhere from 12 to 20 enemies on this mission. Of various, uh, you know, kinds and qualities and difficulties. Alright. There must be something pretty close by over there. I, I honestly feel like I should just not move very much at all. Uh, like, I feel like I'd like to move Camille Fournier over here. And then I'd like to move Hogan over here. And I'd almost like to just overwatch everybody else. Which might be a little bit foolhardy. But the reason I'm thinking it is because uh, I, I want to set overwatch traps and like bait the enemies to, to come to me. Let's move up slightly with the shiv. We should move uh, ultimate warrior because they have to be in a good position to fire a rocket. Um, probably like, I don't know. Here might actually be... <sighs> it's not great. I don't really want to dash up here. It seems a little risky. Uh, instead, I'll just run up here and, and we'll do an overwatch. Alright. And you can steady weapon again. I'm assuming that because there's civilians over here, we're kind of going to be able to bait out uh, a few chrysalids, if they are chrysalids, to come over in this direction to eat that juicy human flesh, right? And that's my philosophy on things. Nothing. Thus far. Oh, I hear, I hear some pitter-patter. Outside my chamber door. Nobody's been consumed by the sickness yet. Okay. Again, if we lose every civilian on this mission, I honestly don't give a shit. I'm sorry to say that. That's probably not what you want to hear out of your the person trying to save the human race. But that is genuinely how I feel right now. I shouldn't have moved you, actually. I, I didn't mean to move you. Holding it down until I discover some more aliens. I'm assuming that we're going to see some right over here, so I really, really don't want to move forward. But I'm going to. Because that's the responsibility that I've taken on for myself. Okay. I guess I'm happy with that then. Um, Say, Mafolo, I'm going to dash you up here. Please do not pop an enemy wave. There's only a one-tile difference there. Um... I honestly feel like Dr. Ruth's in a pretty okay position here, but sure, I'm just going to overwatch everybody. We're going to have vision soon. We have to have vision soon. If all the civilians die, I don't think you fail a mission. At least we can just save one of them who's close by. Fairly close by. Just be cool. 
I don't know if our shiv can actually like free enemies or free free civilians I should say okay I'm not thrilled with that uh, we know for sure we can get Fournier to free the civilian so she can be like a um, yeah there we go a little bit of a forward-facing scout type character for us here and there's another one and we'll free them just to make sure they go back and then I think, honestly, I know that people are going to take issue with this, uh... With the way that I'm treating this mission. But I'm just going to move people ever so slightly forward so everybody's still kind of, like, in line with one another. And then I'm going to put everybody on Overwatch. I really feel like getting some Overwatch trap set is going to be important for us. You're not going to get hit from afar, are you? That would be a far from good. All right, I that's an enemy sound that I don't think I've ever heard before, and that scares the shit out of me. Hopefully, it's just mutons, and I've never realized it before. Did I not save you? Like you should be saved, right? Like I'm hearing laser guns firing, which isn't the end of the world. Mutons can fire laser guns. We fought mutons before; they're annoying. So these are just Seekers. This is fine. Seekers are not a concern. 73%. Probably for the kill, but I'd rather just have our Sniper take the shot if they've got one. 94%. That's what I'm looking for. That's why I put you so far away. Good. Okay. Um, and everybody else, honestly, you're just going to go on Overwatch because the Seekers could come this turn. We have no Battle Scanners, so... Seems smart to me. <coughs> Pardon me. I did not mean to be so rude. It was not me. It was my food. It just popped up to say hello, and now it's gone back down below. Remember from that classic film, Austin Powers? That's not sarcasm. I, I think the first Austin Powers is pretty good. I don't want to start this argument in the comments. People have very strong opinions about uh, Austin Powers and which one they feel is the best. But the first one is the best. So I just wanted to save another civilian. Might as well uh, just bank him here, you know, weakest link style. We're gonna Overwatch again because I expect more enemies or you know seekers to come out of stealth mode. Slow and steady, you know, maybe doesn't win the race, but doesn't lose all of our squad members either. All right, what do we have here? Uh, that's a seeker. Should be dead. Yeah. This uh, this mission, for my standards so far has been very, very slow and steady. We've lost some civilians, but I feel very good about the way it's going regardless. Things could go terribly wrong. Oh, that should be dead too. Oh no! Just not quite enough damage. Uh, but it's not gonna strangle us. Oh yes it is. Who is this anyway? Wh whoever it is, you know, they're gonna be fine. But they are gonna be kind of out of commission for a turn. I, you, you're hearing these like, you know what they sound like to me? They sound like Muton Berserkers. Um, don't really want to use the Shiv because the ammo is so precious. Mafolo's got a decent amount of ammo and his gun is the least important. And it would probably be best to get him leveled up, I guess. Um, so M Mansoor, you're fine. I feel like if you're low on ammo or you have low capacity, reload. And if you're not or you have high capacity, um, then you're gonna overwatch. So you're gonna overwatch. Shiv, I'll probably have reload actually, just so we have its shot ready. And uh, Hogan, why don't you reload? So you're ready. Mansoor, I think you can... You're so far back, but I'm gonna have you overwatch anyway, I guess. And uh, you're gonna overwatch. You're gonna overwatch as well. Okay, now we, we there was the health bar we can see there, so I assume that that's gonna move in our general direction as time goes on here. I may be mistaken, but we'll see. So we got six enemies killed already. That's pretty good in my mind. Again, I expect that that's probably maybe a third of the way through the mission. The chrysalids were the big problems, but now that they've been taken care of... Uh, well, now that the first wave has been taken care of, I feel better, I should say. So I'm going to move forward ever so slightly here. Just to... I want to save the civilian. Why is the civilian not saved? I'm so mad that that's how that went down. 
I was just trying to save that civilian, but apparently he's like glitched out, so he doesn't even exist anymore. Um, I'm gonna. This civilian is gonna die. What is the purpose of the shredder rocket in this? Causes targets to take increased damage from all sources, but um, that's that's kind of fine. I I don't know if the shredder or the regular rocket is more important here. Let's try the shredder, okay? And this civilian is in a bad place, but you can't make a, an omelet without breaking a few eggs, you know? Nice. That was a really good one, Ultimate Warrior. Good thing you're not, like, flanked or anything, either. It's not like I needed you to hit that shot so that not all of our, you know, crew died on this mission. Alright, so you got shots here. 33, 18, 18. That's terrible. Does the sniper have a shot? This is important. Yes, okay. 54. 39, 39. Are we really gonna go for this this big guy to start with? I guess we're going to. He's the commander. 54. It's a hit, you know? I'm not gonna go singing its praises just yet because it's pretty not amazing, but okay. I'm gonna move our ship forward in the hopes that this becomes a little bit more of a, an attractive target for the, uh, for the mutants here. Now we can suppress him which seems like an okay idea. Dr. Ruth has a shot, it's not a great one. But what is it, you know, it's either that or toss this, which doesn't even work. So yeah, you're gonna be taking a shot then, Dr. Ruth. Don't let me down. You tried? At least it wasn't as bad as Ultimate Smoky Warrior, I'll give you that. 28, 43. Not great damage with your assault rifle, but give it a try. That's a hit. If that rocket had just hit, we would have been, you know, fine might be an exaggeration, but not as, Poorly off. I've got to try for the kill here, even though it's such a low percentage. Yeah. I, I say we take our shiv and try for the kill. Even though it's only 31 and suppression might be great, the 31% chance of killing one of these mutons seems really important. I'm disappointed. Oh no, this is how it all goes wrong. Alright, let's see who even survives after this turn. And you know what? This is all because... Oh, shit. It's all because of that fucking... Move that I made to try to rescue that civilian and they had either glitched out or I don't even know. Alright, this is, this is kind of comical at this point. How many enemies there are here. Tons of chrysalids, yes. Um, mostly I'm worried about the mutons making it hard for me to, to leave because of this. Yep, uh, you know, you pretty much sealed your own fate there, Ultimate Warrior, when you, uh, totally missed. That's a civilian, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. Oh, and there's another one. That's another civilian. I'm not, I'm honestly, not that salty about that. Alright, so we lost Ultimate Warrior. That's what you get for fucking up that Shredder rocket, to be honest with you. That civilian is in a terrible place. So. The LZ is very close by, that's all I'm gonna say. How far can you dash? Can't quite make it to the LZ. But if you just run back as far as you can, I think we could probably rescue a lot of our soldiers on this turn. Uh, not this turn, but next turn, of course. So we're not even going to take shots here. Because we there's no way. Look at There's... I think there's four chrysalids, three mutons, a couple of zombies. Nobody's on Overwatch. That's what we have to be freaking thankful for here. Um, and we st still do need to be behind cover if possible because of the, uh, well, because of lots of reasons, I guess. Um, but mostly because of the, uh, mutons. Dr. Ruth, I'm not leaving you behind, Dr. Ruth, but I really wish there was a better way to get you out of here. Your movement allowance seems to be kind of annoying. Of course, Mofolo can move, like, across the entire fucking map. So what, our main goal in this mission now is just to save as many of these units as we possibly can. Fournier, man, you're in an awful position, aren't you? So I think you can make it back here. And then the question is going to be how far can these chrysalids move? I really don't want to leave Dr. Ruth out there as bait. There's such awful cover available though. Like, I don't think with this that she'll be able to move far enough to, to actually get back. I think in my own way, I've kind of damned her to death. I, I guess I've got to put her in this flanking position to try to get her out, otherwise she'll be dead for sure. Now, we do have a little bit of a luxury. Our sniper can take a shot. 
I don't know what to try to hit. It's, I guess it makes sense to try to take out a chrysalis. Chrysalid. But our crit chance is like zero. Maybe it makes better chance to try to take out this muton because it's going to fire at us. I don't know. We'll, th we'll think about it. Now, our shiv has a huge movement allowance, obviously, so it can come all the way back here and then maybe use a suppression or something, which might be helpful. Or it could just take a shot. 60, 60, 60. Oh, it's only got chrysalids. I say we take a shot at this one. Give it, give it your best. It killed one. That probably won't end up being helpful, but it might. I say we take our 84% chance at this one. Maybe it'll slow it down at least if we take a tentacle off. Nice. Good job. All right. So that's that turn done. Chrysalid in the truck. Is that what's coming first here? I re the way this mission started out... Man, that movement allowance is crazy. Uh, the way this mission started out, I really thought we had a pretty good chance of success. And I think if we'd popped the waves one at a time, we actually might have. But uh, things have changed, unfortunately. But the way that we've kind of got units segmented here, I know that there's a lot of Zambros available, but um, the way that we've kind of got our their units segmented here, I'm starting to think that maybe, again, there's a small chance that we can pull ourselves out of this. Although, losing our Rocketeer sucks really hard. Depends how many... I mean, I know there's a lot of zombies. And more being created every single turn. It should be our turn now. When I have a chance to move. There we go. Is there any way we pull this out on this turn? There's just so many, like, chrysalids and zombies. Maybe I just don't want to fuck with it. Maybe I'd rather just get to the LZ, right? How are you doing, Dr. Ruth? Dr. Ruth can make it. <clears throat> I say we just get out of here. Um, Mafolo. Golden Rule, go as far back as you possibly can. Fournier. I'm at least impressed that we only lost one soldier on this mission. And the soldier that died was one of the soldiers who damned us. So I don't feel so bad about it, honestly. Oh, you know why we had one extra soldier? Was it because I took that squad uh, size upgrade recently? So it just gave us an extra one, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we already have six here. Why didn't I see the other one? It's weird. All right, so everybody's in the LZ. We saved four civilians. And can we um, abort mission return to HQ? All soldiers inside, this, inside the extraction, the extraction zone ready to abort abort. Yeah. Civilians saved zero. Oh, that's bullshit. I saved four. They should be in the Sky Ranger with us. So we're going to lose uh, the UK or Scotland or I'm not sure. Everyone's looking reasonably well. We got two Seeker Rex. Great. Panic has increased across Europe. Okay. Oh, man. Um, so we're, we're probably going to... Oh, you know, it doesn't look like we're in danger of losing our fourth uh, country anytime soon. This is all right. Well, all right is relative, I guess. But, okay, we knew that. Scan for activity. Commander, we just lost a satellite. That makes a lot of sense. We did just let a UFO go there, basically. Um, we really, really need to, if possible, build more satellites ASAP. Probably sell basically all of those. Uh, I really don't want to sell any meld. But we've got to build some. Oh, we can sell some floaters for sure. Uh, I really need to build a uh, another satellite. As many as possible, ideally. We had 15. Yes, yeah, so that takes us to 103. Does that give us enough to build a satellite? Engineering, build items. 140 now. All right. Well, we will... Um, I, don't, I really don't like the idea of doing this. But we will. 41. 34. Let's put one more Illyrium on there. There we go. That's one satellite to be built. All right. Well, I'm feeling pretty bad about the last uh, mission there, but I had a feeling. It was either like I go on the mission or I, or I skip it. I mean, those are obviously the two options. But I figured we'd, we'd try it. 
Um, good, you have Stingray Missiles. Go aggressive here. I figured we'd try it at least, and, and maybe I'd get lucky, and maybe I could have gotten lucky, but things got out of hand a little too quickly there. You know, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to dash, and... That was not great. Okay, you took an aggressive approach here. Hit it! Hit it! Oh my god! Why am I... Why? Please don't shoot down my satellite. I love aliens. Alright, panic has increased across Europe again. Sectoid autopsy, autopsy is complete here. Okay. I don't know what that gain does. Oh, there we go. So it gain does interrogate sectoid. Which we'll use, I guess, because we have to. Um, as soon as possible, to in order to prevent the aliens from just snowballing out of control here. Um, you want three laser rifles. I can't give you that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Canada. It, it hurts me. But I really can't afford to. We can't shoot down a large UFO yet. We don't care about the United Kingdom that much anyway. We can't shoot down a large UFO. Alright. St. Petersburg, Russia, heavy activity. Of course we will go on this mission. And we'll take mostly our A-team. Look central, don't give me this bullshit, okay? If you're on the ground, things are different, okay? You don't see it up in your ivory tower moving units like you're playing a real-time strategy game, okay? I'm down there with these guys. They're doing their all and so am I. In any case, um, we'll probably take one of our snipers off here and put on a private to maybe level them up. But in any case, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, it was heartbreaking and problematic, but we only did lose one soldier and like an entire country consisting of millions of people, or entire kingdom, I guess, consisting of millions of people spread across three different countries, four different countries. I don't want to offend anybody. In any case, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I look forward to your constructive and civil feedback as I continue my journey to actually get half decent at XCOM uh, Enemy Within the Long War. And I'll see you tomorrow with another episode. Goodbye.